Darn it! I was muted! Thanks, Ray. Oh, man. Okay, here's what I said. Day two of episode one. The Council. This is The Council, episode one. The Mad Ones. Day two, part two. Sorry about that. I said hi and everything. How are you? <laughs> the command for today is exclamation council. Developed by Big Bad Wolf, published by Focus Home Interactive. It's a narrative episodic game with permanent, long-lasting consequences. Plunge into a tale of intrigue and manipulation in the style of a classic murder mystery. Living with a cast of alluring characters, each hiding their own dark secrets. Trust no one while uncovering dire truths, no matter the cost to mind and body. So there will be five episodes. This is episode one. Available on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. There's the link. Hi, Shiny. Yeah, this game is pretty interesting. So I want to see what happens. I don't think we have too much longer in this playthrough. And then hopefully there's time to start a second playthrough with a different character class. The game has... It's a narrative game similar to the style of Telltale games and Life is Strange, but this game has RPG elements. So you have classes, character classes, and you have skills that you can choose to level up and different information is revealed based on which skills you have. So there is a lot of replay value in that sense. And hopefully we'll find out how much information changes. Trust no one. Can't trust yourself. Yeah, I think so far, I'm, I think it's pretty worth it. It's uh, it's seven euros per episode. Five episodes. I think it's $30 for the, or 30 euros for the entire season. So it's a little bit of a discount off of one of the episodes. Yeah, I think that if you like these kinds of games, this is definitely something che worth checking out. Yeah, it's really not bad. And then, you know, considering a lot of people call these, like, movie games. And yeah, okay, a lot of it does play like a movie. This one's a lot more engaging, and you gotta think about it a lot. And you gotta worry about where you're spending your skill points. So it's definitely more of an RPG in that sense. But if you still see it as, like, a movie... Well, and and if you like to explore and you like to check everything out and you like to try to not miss stuff. So far, what was my playthrough yesterday? Like three and a half hours or something? Almost three and a half hours? And we're not finished with episode one. So I think that right there and then the replayability, that right there makes it worth it. Especially if you're used to paying like $20 to go to a movie or something. Yeah. Mystery games, walking sims. Yeah, perfect for you then. So, I'm, I'm happy I got it. Thank you to Focus Home Interactive for the code. Let's see what else we can find out today. So, I think you can have, yeah, three games. Hi, Coyote! Thank you so much for 12 months, Coyote! Cheers, thank you! What's up? So we're playing a new game today. And this... Oh, hi, <laughs> hi, Coyote. This game is very immersive. The world is very beautiful to look at. The voice acting is generally pretty good. So since it's the first playthrough, I'm going to keep alerts pretty low. So thanks for the cheers. Make sure to cheer if it happens again so that I know. But I'm going to keep alerts pretty low so that we're sticking with the sound and mood and atmosphere of the game. Alright, so this is nice that you have three saves because I think there are three classes. So you can start a save with each class. That's nice. And see how different information, how you can acquire different information. Oh, sorry to hear you've been so busy, Coyote. We're glad you're here, too. 
All right, let's play. I'm on the bottom right today because I was missing some stuff that was on the bottom left yesterday. Downloadable content. Validate. Continue. Here we go. I got my soda. I'm ready to go. See? I couldn't see all those effort points yesterday. Three, six, eight out of nine effort points. And we ended the game exactly right here. And then I have a plus one something. I'm not sure what that means. Plus one top left affliction of some sort. So now we're exploring. In this game, it's a really good idea to explore because the more books you find, the more opportunity you have for a free skill point and something you might need. Encyclopedia. <gasps> oh. What was that? Oh no, something new? No. Pages out of an old encyclopedia. No. Where are those other pages I had before? Uh-oh. Do they disappear? Well, anyways, here's an example. So because I chose to read these two books, I got a plus one skill point in politics and a plus one in science. So... Oh, also in Conviction. So those are permanent skill points that you get basically for free at the end of every mission. The sun is so bright all of a sudden. I'm feeling super bright right now. I wonder what I picked up just now. Our journal, our map, our character. Here's our skill tree. These things are level zero. So we want to make as many of these level one as possible. I think yesterday I made a mistake. You know, now that I know, I know that it was probably a mistake to make these level two. I'm not entirely sure about that. But I think we, I probably should have been trying to get as many things to level one sooner. Missed out on a lot of opportunities for more information. And then also... Today, I'll be more diligent about what books I decide to read because these need, it's important that these supplement, supplement your skill tree, right? All right, let's see what else we can find. It was the encyclopedia. Oh, maybe it just didn't pop into my inventory yet. Did I look at it too quickly? Oh, this. 150 academics and scholars. Okay, I wonder if those, uh, that other item, maybe I found the three parts to it and I didn't remember and it became a skill point. It became the skill points. I'm just noticing though, I'm missing a article. Okay. Can we go? Okay, looks like we walked all the way around, but did we look and make sure we got everything? Let's go all the way back and then back to the door. Can't climb these ladders. Yeah, look at it, Shrey. It's amazing. Yeah. This is kind of like Duke's archives, actually. I forgot Duke Duke's archives has like a... Oh, I did miss something. Has like a part of the library that looks like this. Royal jelly. Perfect. Oh, I've missed several things. What the heck? Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Did you like the Sherlock Holmes game, Shreya? I think they might. It might be similar. Hi, Omi. Hi. Forty-four. Uck. All right. Let's go back now. Oh, you love Sherlock Holmes? Yeah, I didn't play those, but I hear Goonie saying he thought it might be like that. Goonie got this. 44, yuck. You're missing one trophy. Oh my gosh, before you have platinum? <laughs> Bus gate up. Hi, Shizuki. I'm, it's so easy to walk by these things. Collector coins. Okay. You gotta walk by. You gotta walk through hallways five times for the stuff you missed. Okay. Here we go. Hopefully this is what we're looking for. Find the place mentioned by your mother. Ooh. It's gotta be in here. We're 
all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? No, we're exploring. This isn't a speed run. This music. Find the Medusa. You can look at each painting. Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. And he'll talk a little bit about each one. That's the least you could say. He doesn't approve. Liberty or death by Regnon. Well, I'll take liberty, please. But <laughs> well, I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Cake or death? by Angle, Molière dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I like it. It's, I was thinking, I was thinking that um, when Jason and I are between TV shows, we don't know what to watch or whatever, I'll probably throw this on and have him play through it because it's as good as a it's as good as a well-written TV show but you know it's still a game it's got lots of interesting RPG elements that you don't find in other narrative driven games so I'm finding it pretty interesting yeah it's pretty good I guess it must be to get me up and streaming on a Wednesday. I don't normally stream on Wednesdays. I I assumed that it was only going to be a couple hours long, you know, as an episode in a epi episode narrative game, episodic. Is it as stressful? Oh yeah, maybe even more so me. <laughs> but it's not bad. I I'd say it's not bad, but yeah. It definitely has the stress associated. I know. That <laughs> makes it tough for you, I know. But it's good though. In a good way. See, this game has. I can't pick it up. This game has uh, consumables. So when you are in your discussion confrontations, which are basically like boss fights. You have these consumables you can use to help you through, to help you with your strategy through the conversation. So Devil's Thorn temporarily reveals their immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice, just like as if they were a boss and you needed to see what they're immune to, what they're vulnerable to. Those, yeah, those are my effort points, yeah, which I couldn't see yesterday. Royal Jelly restores two effort points. So every time you use a skill in dialogue, it takes up a certain amount of effort points. Carmelite Water. Next skill use is free. Golden Elixir. Cures negative alterations. So if you... Maybe I should try taking this now and see what happens. But I don't remember which direction. It doesn't tell me. D-pad. See, like, I have a plus one up there. I don't know what that is. That's a- I think that's a negative thing. So, you can- you- you can take certain of those consumables during the conversation in order to help you. They're all on the D-pad, and I don't remember where they all are. Um, also, actually, I think this will tell me. I, can, I think I can press up on the D-pad, and it will tell me without having to use it. Um, but apparent, I found out yesterday that you can become, like, intoxicated. If you take too many of these potions, you get negative effects from that as well. So let's see. 
If I push left. Q okay. There, it popped up. It showed me. So if you press D-pad, it will show you which one you selected without using it. I think you have to press X to use it. So I'm going to try. I think this is a golden elixir right here. Full golden elixir. So let's try taking it and see if that helps me get rid of that plus one. I don't know what that plus one is. Okay, I can't take... Oh, I can. You just have to hold it. It got rid of it. Okay, so yesterday, I thought my golden elixir was up. It was left. So today, I know. And I was like, why isn't it getting rid of it? That's why, because I had the wrong direction on the D-pad. It, it's a lot deeper than I thought too, Coyote, and it's a lot more interesting than I thought it would be too. I mean, I thought it would be cool to check out. The world looked interesting. I liked the art. I figured it would have a good story, but there's more to it than I expected. People have been saying it looks like Dishonored. <laughs> and I think so too. It's a similar to the art style. Fruit. Yeah. Christ crucified it does. by Velasquez. Both Dishonored. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Hmm. Both Dishonored and this game were made in French studios, so perhaps they were influenced. The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. I think the year is something like 1792 or something right now. Ah, François Premier, receiving the Holy Family. A painting by Raphael. Amber. Nice. I think if you collect three amber fragments, you get extra skill points. The Fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning by his father Apollo for borrowing his chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. <laughs> Too bad, dad. <laughs> People are after Bloodborne. Amber Crystals. The Company by Rembrandt. I love Rembrandt. I feel like this art style of the game reminds me very much of Rembrandt. How it's got a lot of darkness to it, but very interesting lighting in the important places. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe Senck. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe Senck. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. It's funny how he says it in French. I mean, our character is French, but he has an American accent. <laughs> Most of the time. Unless he's saying something. Unless he's talking about art or saying someone's name. That guy's excited. A painting with no name. <gasps> this is it. Okay, I don't want to look at that yet in case... Let's look at that last. We can't unlock. We need a skill point and unlock. I think it's subterfuge. All right, I need to level. I can't right now, but I need to level up subterfuge. Subterfuge. I already say that. French-born American student. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Usually, he talks like a you know American Valley girl. 
And then all of a sudden, when he says someone's name, he's like, Louis Gato! Louis Gato! And then, anyways, as I was saying, that's what this guy's like. <laughs> like my roommate who's learning French in college. <laughs> Actually, no, she would speak French with her valley girl accent. Alright, let's get it. The Medusa. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern, and the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Let's give them a helping hand. The origin of myths. A reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Hmm. Three linguistics. Read the page in Latin. Read it in French. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, hmm. the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. That's it. It recounts okay. how men have always belittled women in society. Let's go get Harpies, the sword one. Mermaids, you can't the chimera, skip the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. <gasps> Resume. Oops. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. All right, hero with a sword. I thought I thought it was going to go on. That's why I kept reading it. Talk about the other heroes. Shield. Lantern. Sword. Assess the statuette. Okay, see? The yellow means it's going to require two effort points to do that. Examine the sword. Agility level 2, cost reduced by 3. I can examine the sword for free! Rotate the statuette. So we'll this do the free thing. This hero is the thing. only one holding a weapon. It seems obvious that he's the one whose job is to cut off her head. So, sword toward the Medusa. Okay. Toward the Medusa. The shield is probably also going to be toward Medusa so that she looks at the shield and not at him. It's the reflector thing. Okay, here's another book. Or maybe it's the same book. Oh god. It's probably the same book. We're supposed to arrange the statues in order to reveal a secret. Yeah, there's puzzles, yeah. So far they haven't been too difficult though. Think about the configuration. Okay, so, I mean, you have a choice. Either you can use effort if you're really stuck, or if you have nothing to lose, you want to save your effort for the confrontations 
the book, it to I don't know if it changes now. Let's go see if it changes its description. Like, let's see if we read on. We probably do, since we moved that one, hopefully, accurately. Oh, did I not? Yeah, I did. Alright, let's see if it says any anything about the next soldier. Hang on. This it doesn't, is significantly it looks like. different from the regular one. It recounts it gave how us one clue. always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the Looks hydra, like it's the same information. The gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention you only from the spend Gorgon, your effort the hero with a sword points brandishes his weapon if you use a skill. So here, if I had linguistics, it would take a couple effort to use it, probably. Unless I had enough skill points leveled up, and then, you know, it could be free. But it depends on how many you have. I don't have any at all, because it's I haven't unlocked it yet. So I don't even get the option. I get locked out of reading the page in Latin. Probably if he read it in Latin, we would get the other two soldiers' descriptions, or, or at least one other. They hide information based on what your skills are. If you can't read it, you can't read it. And you go through the playthrough never knowing what it said. So now what we're going to have to do... So now our choices are... Go over here. And either you can use two effort to think about the configuration and see what else he tells you. Or you can use Sutterfuge, if you have that. In order to figure it out somehow. Or you can just rotate it and hope you get lucky. I think I'm just going to rotate it. And see what happens because I don't want to use effort now when this seems like we're not gonna be punished for getting it wrong but we can probably do this by process of elimination but yeah I think we'll randomly try it toward the hero holding the lantern because that's what's gonna reflect that's what's gonna reflect the light to her to reflect the um, reflect her image to herself right so so a lot of things you can just figure out if you have an idea of what's going on in the puzzle so if you're familiar with what is it ancient greek mythology you might remember this from the movie what was the movie perseus you might remember the the strategy they used to defeat medusa so you might have an idea already of how to do this. Okay, so now the lantern should probably... Let's see. Oh! Oh, no, I remember! I remember! We have to reflect a hero so that she thinks... The hero is somewhere else. Is that what it is? I think we have to reflect the sword guy. Not the light. He'll hold the lantern toward the mirror and we'll hold this toward the sword guy. That's what it is, I think. Let's try that. We're gonna use the shield as a mirror. Did it work? Maybe not. Maybe we got it wrong. Oh, we have to rotate the statuette. Toward the hero holding the shield, right? Is that right? Let's try it, we probably won't get punished. I think we did it. Whoa. <laughs> Rock, for Pete's sake, Emily, <laughs> you scared the pants off me. 
Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Yeah, that's right. I just couldn't remember how the order should have been. I, re I remembered a, a little bit about it. By your own reflection, yeah. So she turned herself into stone instead of... Was it... Theseus? <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Omi! Was it Theseus? Or is it Perseus? Tell me what you're doing here. Touch it with humor. Answer her frankly. I've discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Perseus thinks. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? My, you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then, impress me. Is she gonna be impressed by jokes? She's looking for someone too. She has to investigate Mortimer. I guess she's looking for someone too. <laughs> Lifelong obsession. I used to love, yeah, I used to love mythology too. Just investigate Mortimer. You're looking for somebody. Oh. Your silence speaks volumes. I must have got it right, and you will go to great lengths to find them. So, this person means a lot to you. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Okay. We don't trust her, apparently. Read the inscription. Examine the symbols. I can't do either of these. What happens if time runs out? Nothing? I guess I should test that. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. I've never advised her to use the hide. Do you think that can really be Jason's golden fleece? No. You are aware that Jason and the Argonauts is a myth. <laughs> but Mortimer's been protecting this hide. It must be of great value, don't you think? Certainly of historical value. This kind of hide is still used by gold diggers in Eastern Europe. Now you see how easy it is to obtain a legend. Why do you have to act so nonchalant every time I show you something? Louis, anyone can kill a sheep, rip off its hide, and say it's the Golden Fleece. We're at Lord Mortimer's, not at some farmyard fair. You're just too skeptical. And you have a tendency to believe anything. Talk about an unlikely pair. Yet, you know opposites attract, don't you? Thinker, Rodan. <laughs> An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. Mm. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would Are you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. <laughs> the conversation is kind of weird. I wouldn't talk to her like that. I guess maybe they're trying to give us a clue about their relationship. A sister say. Sister say. Hey. Mortimer is the author of this work. 
He talks about his passion for art. I guess we should look up sometimes. I'm always looking down and around for objects. Dan. They always had to make, like, the limbs a bit larger than they should be for the support and so that they didn't break off. But I believe it's made out of iron. It would be too heavy if it were thinner. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. <laughs> this could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. Try on the crown. What's, is she gonna get mad? Stop, don't put your grubby fat fingers on it. You find my fingers fat? <laughs> Why not? At least put it's on not some gloves. Caesar's Please, real no. wreath, what do you slim. care? You were going to leave marks. My god, what an amateur. Well. Many a harpsichord players would love to have sexy fingers like mine. Tell me where you took your infiltration classes so I can have your tutor executed. Well, she Let's compare amused. hands then. We'll soon see whose fingers are fattest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to compare hands with you. Let's just keep going. Bad loser. <laughs> All right, she found that to be funny. She's laughing at how stupid we are at least she's laughing okay um wh whose art where was that over here i don't remember shiny let's go back and look Ugh. they're not gonna let me get it again was didn't it say on a book or something darn i don't know i don't remember Fancy haircut woman. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Ro. Yeah, Horror said, oh yeah, if you access it, it goes away. In this room. Hodor said the art in this game reminded him of Dishonored art. So I decided to wear my Emily stuff. Well, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. She's just looking at the same thing all day. She's not helping. We're inside of like a giant castle. Mortimer's castle. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. The music is often fitting. I think right now we're having like a silly time with this girl. Sword of King Arthur. Oh, I can assess it. This weapon is typically French. For free. Quite old. Undoubtedly goes back to the crusades. We can impress her. If it is a true damask sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. What? A true what sword? Damask? It's the sword of Genghis Khan. I think Khan. it's the sword of Genghis Khan. <laughs> Damascus is in Israel. Brush up on your classics. Or yeah. Asian weapons are definitely not this shape. Damask must All be somewhere else. All the swords else. forged in Asia don't necessarily have a curved blade. Are you blind? It's a thrusting saber, a pure product of the West. When you don't get the last word, your repartee goes all aggressive. Hi, Bullet. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? Oh, really? Oh, after I 
had the conversation about the wreath. I can't. Everything that I've looked at in this room, the um, prompts for them have gone away. So it looks like we're eliminating stuff. A fragment of amber. Nice. Wait. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Hmm. I assume he's immortal. Several Mortimers? Falsification. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many oh. times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing. But do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? So I think at that point, I should have used my points to get more information. Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art. Or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must have helped nearly everybody in the world. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. I think the game's originally in French. Hi, Cactus. Okay. I only have one jelly. That's why I haven't been using any effort to try to get more information. I don't know if that would have been a good place to use it. I kind of been trying to save it for the um, confrontations. Because yesterday I made a lot of mistakes not fully understanding these things. So. I guess I will, I'll try not to use any effort until the next confrontation. It should be our last confrontation, I think. And then also, it doesn't look like we were it, we were only we're only at level five. I'm not sure what level most people end up at in their first playthrough of episode one, but I I think I overspent. I shouldn't have brought these to level two. I should have tried to make more things level one. And then I'm not even completely sure of how these talents are filled in. Oh, it tells you, read five manuscripts. Obtain all level one skills. Effort points pool increases by one. Reach level three conviction and agility. Okay, it tells you. Reach level three in diversion, level two in etiquette and conviction. Oh, I wish I paid more attention to that yesterday. That would have been an, a, a sort of a roadmap to kind of follow, I guess. Even though I don't think we could get to level 3 in most of these in episode 1 for sure. I guess it would be over the entire playthrough. Hi, Patrick. Use the water. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. How much do I have of that? I only have two, though. I want to save it for the confrontation. I only have two. I think I was overusing stuff yesterday. I never used Devil's Thorn. Definitely use that next time. Alright. 
there's more stuff to look at. I thought there was something over here. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For uh -oh. crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met Louis. Confrontation. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Okay, something we need to do more often. Journal. Emily. Vulnerability is psychology. Her immunity is to be discovered. Vulnerability psychology, though. If we Stop have a all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell yeah. should I place I my trust it. in you, Louis? Because I trust you. Right? This is it's this one. Psychology. Because I don't want any harm to come to you. When are you going it. to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? Exploit a vulnerability. And say yes I'm learning. You want. What are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Four blunders well, I'm for this. Well, I'm to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. This is final boss. But I have nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. <gasps> Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses, and there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! Huh. And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Oh shoot. Oh my god! <gasps> I can analyze her character! Yes! Pragmatic, intelligent, yes. sure of herself. Her only weak spot is her difficulty talking about herself. I don't know much about your past, but I'm guessing you had to get by on your own for much of your life. It might have closed you off, and that can be a disadvantage. It might be time for you to open up and risk a little trust. Not every man you meet wants to hurt you. Hmm. Yes, you may be right. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? She prefers to work alone. She likes to lead her investigations herself. She already has a partner. She takes orders from someone. Press her. Difficulty 4, questioning level 1. Reassure her about your short-lived collaboration. <sighs> I don't know what the grindy wheels mean or the exclamation point. So here, if you don't have these skills unlocked, you would have to guess. But I, I happen to have all right skills for her. I think. Okay, I guess we'll try reassuring her. That sounds nice. And I like being nice to her. Yeah, I'm dressed up as Emily. Because the art in this game reminds us of Dishonored. Press her? Oh, sh no. I don't see us as partners for life. You won't owe me anything, yeah, you know. Her. It doesn't commit you to anything after all. All right, you've gone to a lot of trouble. Yeah. You deserve an answer. We're gonna take a no hit. I already have a work partner. Boss fight. <laughs> I know my weaknesses. I don't oh, doubt boy. that your abilities will be of use to me. But I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner what? is. What? You're a gambler. So, your partner is... 
affected by the cameo. Oh, they just gave it away! Cameo belongs to a woman, right? Or do cameos ever belong to men? She couldn't be here for Adams, could she? Oh. My mother. It's as obvious as it is surprising. You're my mother's hard-hitting partner. Oh, God. Do you really believe the nonsense that comes out of your mouth? Well... Damn. I a failed. Ago, I did. A little. Damn it. Sorry, Louis. Your mother is not my partner. I should have known that wasn't my mother's cameo. But it's probably a woman. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can... But I can't use... Re oh! Ah! Let's use that! Actually, that's not going to help me in this case, is it? <gasps> the uh, Okay. For the next one, I'll do it. It's a woman. And it's... What does temporarily mean? One turn? Two turns? It doesn't help me. Let's say, who wears a freaking cameo? I'm gonna mess this up. I have no idea, her sister or her mother. I'm gonna say her sister. Your sister? She's your partner. I don't know. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Yeah, we had no information. Actually, no one even knows. When okay. It comes to getting results, what was that? Fifth good. confrontation? I, I passed. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Apparently, oh. it's it's kind of rare. Now I get why you said you had a memory Only like for two. thirty something yes. percent of people got all the confrontations extent, in episode As children, one. everyone got us mixed up. So we did it. So one day we decided to play along. Unless there's more. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it a work? Twin. <laughs> One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. That means they're both here. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Holm and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return from Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from Holm, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So... My mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. So... They're both here. That means one's gonna like us and one isn't. So probably if we're careful about listening to how they talk, we'll be able to tell them apart if we end up talking to both of them. That means in that confrontation with his mother, that was one of them and not the other. I wonder if there's a, like a so, one who's what do you think of our first adventure? Gonna betray us. I must admit it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, 
she's been drinking too much again. Louis, uh, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. <laughs> I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? What should I do? This is gonna be permanent. We can't go back and do the other thing. What should we do? Emily? Elizabeth suffers from epilepsy. And she confided it in us. She's, she's the daughter of John Adams, Vice President of the United States, presumed to be dead, but is apparently here. Apparently trying to get help somehow from the owner of the mansion. Help the tattoo lady. Hi, Kodo. We helped Elizabeth before. I guess we have follow that path and keep helping her. Earlier we helped her in a confrontation with a guy. All right, let's help her. Sorry, Emily, but sorry, I can't guys. Leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. <laughs> Come on, follow me. She wasn't going to do sexy time. She was going to try to shoot us in her room. You know that. Come on. Be real. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it. My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. Damn it. Did you talk to each other? I thought I no, got it. No, she was far away. I, I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Yes, I need something to calm me down. Yeah, something like that, Lance. She was getting... crazy treatments. You know, Victorian-era treatments. <laughs> Vulnerability, questioning, immunity, psychology. She's vulnerable to questioning. What? Have a glass with her? I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? Hopefully that will gain her trust. Calm her down. I don't know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louie, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. It's looking at her tattoo. Whoa. The alcohol's 
Oh no! Did she <sighs> poison us? Damn it! She did! No? Great. Here, the condemned's last drink. <gasps> Is she killing us? Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm gonna stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, wow. right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're gonna have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louie. Either drink or get out. Maybe we can catch up with Emily. Okay, so here's a question. Do you think we'll have some kind of crazy vision? Because this guy has crazy visions. If we, I don't, I don't know. What would you do? You wouldn't drink it? You don't want to see what would happen? I don't think we're going to die. I don't think they're going to kill us in episode one. But it will, it might have permanent consequences. You would keep going? Yeah? Okay, let's see, let's see what happens. Alright, let's do it. Man, I, I need to take it easy with the booze. At this rate, I won't last the night. Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. She's gonna make us drink Ugh. more. The second one isn't any easier. So, do you want to know why she did all those things to me or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her forever? What was she trying to cure you of then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. Oh, what, another one? Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. What? I'm confused. I feel all dizzy. There must have been a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. What? What are you talking about? Silence what? The voices. The voices in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. Elizabeth, are, are you saying that, that spirits talk to you? You're right. Sometimes there are several voices. How did you know? Because you hate no, psychology. Listen, I, I don't know anything. I, I'm just repeating what you said. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away. Ever since I was little. And look at the result! It's impossible, Mother. You spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh, shit. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louie. Are you starting to believe me? No, but... Sh Too bad it's all been for nothing. They're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're still talking to you? All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. I, I beg you, tell me you believe me. She doesn't... I guess. I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. And I do believe you. Thank you, Louis. You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. 
No. Didn't give us a choice there. My God, Elizabeth, how is this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Advisor to escape, advisor to stay. I guess we're doing... Well... Is it better for her to escape? You make mushy decisions. It's okay, Sharia. You'll just have the mushy playthrough. And then the next playthrough, you'll have the mean playthrough. Advisor to stay. Is she in danger there? I think so. I think that's what she's been saying. It depends on what you believe. If you believe her, then you wouldn't want her to see her. But if you believe she's actually getting good treatment here, because she really is crazy, then maybe you want her to stay to continue getting her treatment. But the question is, what's this treatment? We're in a world of, like, a cult and, you know, people believe in, like, spirits and stuff. I don't know if she's really getting good treatment. Stir more stuff up. Is it permanent? <laughs> Her room doesn't look very healthy at all, right? Okay, maybe if she stays we can protect her and help her and find out more story. If we advise her to leave, maybe we won't see her anymore. What do you think? Yeah, it doesn't look too good. Maybe she can help us later. I don't know. I have no idea. She's our bait. I advise her to stay. We'll see. Oh my god, shiny. <laughs> Alright, let's advise her to stay. Let's not rush into things. You have nothing to fear here. I'm with you. And anyway, my mother's gone missing. You're not in any danger. That's not what the voices say. Listen to me. Don't give up. You must resist. And tomorrow, you'll see. Things will be better. You like my little concoction, don't you? That's rare. What? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. The heck is that? What? You put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom together. Oh, man. I feel like puking. I really feel like shit. Uh, I gotta. She did drugs. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you. Oh, great. Uh, what is this bitch gonna do to me? Don't touch me! Just leave. If I get up, I'll fall. <sighs> oh, little Louie's tired. <laughs> Here we go, Leave guys. everything to me. Well, we're probably going to have a vision that we wouldn't have had otherwise. So let's see. Mademoiselle, may I come in? Darn it. Trait unlocked, inebriated. Ah, my head. I shouldn't have drunk so much. Oh, shit. <gasps> what? Look what she, look, look, Drea. Look. Successes. I resolved the enigma of the Medusa. I discovered Lord Mortimer's room where he hides his treasure. I found out that Emily was hiding something. I persuaded Emily to tell her, me, her secret. I accepted to keep Elizabeth company. Failed. Had a few drinks with Elizabeth. 
alternate paths. I could have joined Emily in my room. <laughs> no, it's okay, Shreya. We had to find out. GG! Episode 1, that was good. What's the thing gonna say? We reached level 6. 500 items found. What? 200 vulnerabilities exploited. 20 new characters. What? Really? 210 tree. That doesn't make sense. I don't know what these mean. I can spend points now. Okay, so for this guy, we've been needing some... Definitely this! Oh my gosh. Erudition. Occultism. Politics. I think I have level one. Uh, I would get it from the book. Diversion. Conviction is already level one. Almost level two. Etiquette. What's this? This is already level one. Questioning. Okay, we should unlock these other things. Make Ollie as- try to make as many things as possible level one. Why is this one blue? It's probably from a book I'm reading. Or etiquette. Let's do etiquette so we don't have to read the etiquette book. Instead we could read- mm. Linguistics, darn it. <sighs> All right. Right, let's try another class. Another playthrough, another class. Big bad wolf game. Replay from the top? What do you mean? I'll, I'll start a new game and replay play it again with a different class. That was my attempt as detective. I'm still, you know, learning how the game works. I still don't understand, like... you. I feel like you have no way of knowing what things count as a fail, you know? I feel like you only know if you played through it. Beer programmer? They have beer programmers? Yeah, we don't know. This time we'll go with Emily. See what happens. We'll try to make opposite decisions. He got the beer for the programmers. <laughs> See, they're using a chess board here as a, what would you call it, like a imagery of how the game is a strategy game. Strategy RPG narrative. a metaphor. I like how the studio is called Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> okay, so that took me an hour. 
So yeah, good thing I stopped where I did last night, even though, gosh, I wish I started streaming an hour earlier yesterday. Alright, so that was episode one, coming soon, two, three, four, and five. They're gonna be seven euros or so per episode, or 30 euros total, if you want to just get the whole thing. Alright. How do we go back? Save game two. 